Good morning, friends. Welcome to Morning Prayer, December 18, the third week of Advent, the third Saturday of Advent, O Adonai. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is at hand. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is at hand. Come, let us adore him. The angel Gabriel was sent from heaven to say to the Theotokos, Rejoice, and perceiving you, O Lord, taking bodily form, he stood in awe and with his bodiless voice cried aloud to her, Rejoice, you who are the throne of the king. Alleluia. Behold my affliction and deliver me. For I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me. According to your promise, give me life. Deliverance is far from the wicked. For they do not study your statutes. Great is your compassion, O Lord. Preserve my life according to your judgments. There are many who persecute and oppress me. Yet I have not swerved from your decrees. I look with loathing at the faithless, for they have not kept your word. See how I love your commandments. O Lord, in your mercy, preserve me. The heart of your word is truth. All your righteous judgments endure forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The angel Gabriel was sent from heaven to say to the Theotokos, Rejoice, and perceiving you, O Lord, taking bodily form, he stood in awe, and with his bodiless voice cried aloud to her, Rejoice, you who are the throne of the king. Alleluia. But the Holy Virgin, seeing herself pure, says boldly to Gabriel, the strangeness of your words seems hard for my soul to accept. For from a conception without seed, you foretell pregnancy as you cry aloud, Alleluia. Rulers have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. I am as glad because of your promise as one who finds great spoils. For as for lies, I hate and abhor them, but your law is my love. Seven times a day do I praise you because of your righteous judgments. Great peace have they who love your law. For them there is no stumbling block. I have hoped for your salvation, O Lord, and have fulfilled your commandments. I have kept your decrees. 
and I have loved them deeply. I have kept your commandments and decrees, for all my ways are before you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. But the Holy Virgin, seeing herself pure, says boldly to Gabriel, The strangeness of your words seems hard for my soul to accept. For from a conception without seed, you foretell pregnancy as you cry out, Alleluia. The power of the Most High then overshadowed the Virgin for conception and showed her fruitful womb as a sweet meadow to all who wish to reap salvation as they sing, Alleluia. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your promise. My lips shall pour forth your praise. When you teach me your statutes, my tongue shall sing of your promise. For all your commandments are righteous. Let your hand be ready to help me. For I have chosen your commandments. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let me live and I will praise you. And let your judgments help me. I have gone astray like a sheep that is lost. Search for your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The power of the Most High then overshadowed the Virgin for conception and showed her fruitful womb as a sweet meadow to all who wish to reap salvation as they sing. Alleluia. The first reading is from the prophet Isaiah. A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see, or decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt around his waist and faithfulness, faithfulness the belt around his loins. The wolf shall live with the lamb. The leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the fatling together. And a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze. Their young shall lie down together and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put its hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. See, the root of Jesse shall come down to save the people's the nations shall rally to him, and his name shall be glorious. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad. The desert shall rejoice and blossom like the crocus. It shall blossom abundantly. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are of a fearful heart, 
Be strong, do not fear, here is your God. He will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer and the tongue of the speechless sing for joy. For water shall break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool and the thirsty ground springs of water. The haunt of jackals shall become a swamp. The grass shall become reeds and rushes and the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be on their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. See, the root of Jesse shall come down to save the peoples. The nations shall rally to him, and his name shall be glorious. A reading from the book of St. John, the Revelation. Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven, holding his, in his hand the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain. He sees the dragon, that ancient serpent, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years and threw him into the pit and locked and sealed it over him so that he would deceive the nations no more until the thousand years were ended. After that, he must be led out for a little while. Then I saw thrones and those seated on them were given authority to judge. I also saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their testimony to Jesus and for the word of God. They had not worshipped the beast or its image and had not received its mark on their foreheads or their hands. They came to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. The rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were ended. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy are those who share in the first resurrection. Over these, the second death has no power, but they will be priests of God and of Christ, and they will reign with him for a thousand years. When the thousand years are ended, Satan will be released from his prison and will come out to deceive the nations at the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, in order to gather them for battle. They are as numerous as the strands of the sea, sands of the sea. They marched up over the breadth of the earth and surrounded the camp of the saints and the beloved city, and fire came down from heaven and consumed them. And the devil who had deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire and sulfur, where the beast and the false prophet were. And they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior and born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath. He swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life.
You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord. Alleluia. The third reading is from a letter to Dionysus. No one has ever seen God or known him, but God has revealed himself to us through faith, by which alone it is impossible to see him. God, the Lord and maker of all things who created the world and set it in order, not only loved humanity, but was also patient with us. So he has always been and is and will be kind, good, free from anger, truthful. Indeed, he and he alone is good. He devised a plan, a great and wonderful plan, and shared it with his son. As long as he preserved this secrecy and kept his own wise counsel, he seemed to be neglecting us, to have no concern for us. But when through his beloved son he revealed and made public what he had prepared from the beginning, he gave us all at once gifts such as we could never have dreamt of, even sight and knowledge of himself. When God had made all his plans in consultation with his son, he waited until a later time, allowing us to follow our own whim to be swept along by unruly passions, to be led astray by pleasure and desire. Not that he was pleased by our sins, he only tolerated them. Not that he approved of that time of sin, he was planning this era of holiness. When we had been shown to be undeserving of life, his goodness was to make us worthy of it. When we had made it clear that we could not enter God's kingdom by our own power, we were to be enabled to do so by the power of God. When our wickedness had reached its culmination, it became clear that retribution was at hand in the shape of suffering and death. The time came then for God to make known his kindness and power, how immeasurable is God's generosity and love. He did not show hatred for us or reject us or take vengeance. Instead, he was patient with us, bore with us, and in compassion took our sins upon himself. He gave his own son as the price of our redemption, the Holy One to redeem the wicked, the sinless one to redeem sinners, the just one to redeem the unjust, the incorruptible one to redeem the corruptible, the immortal one to redeem mortals. For what else could have covered our sins but his sinlessness? Where else could we, wicked and sinful as we were, have found the means of holiness except in the Son of God alone? How wonderful a transformation, how mysterious a design, how inconceivable a blessing. The wickedness of the many is covered up in the Holy One, and the holiness of one sanctifies many sinners. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. 
He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations, let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Grant that your people, almighty God, may be ever watchful for the coming of your only begotten Son, that as the author of our salvation himself has taught us, we may hasten, alert and with lighted lamps, to meet him when he comes, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. O oh God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that all people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your Spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, I invite your intercessions and thanksgivings. Gracious and sustaining God, I thank you for the family of all saints, both near and far. I ask your blessings upon each of us in this Advent season. Prepare our hearts for you. Pray for all those suffering this day from the tornadoes. Pray for all those who have lost their families, lost their loved ones, lost their friends. Gracious God, we give thanks for the aid and for the help that is coming to them. Be with all those who are ill this day. Be with their families, be with their caregivers, be with all those in hospital. And gracious God, we pray for an end to the pandemic. Be with all those who need your love, who need your reassurance this day. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, 
for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The angel of the Lord announced unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour your grace into our hearts, O Lord, that we who have known the incarnation of your Son, Jesus Christ, announced by an angel to the Virgin Mary, may by his cross and passion be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, um, may God bless each of us this day, uh, this third Saturday of Advent. Slow down, be peaceful, experience the joy of Advent. Goodbye. <laughs>